Hello, Paul. Hello, Moses. So, um, we're here. Um, prepared to die edition, actually prepared to suffer. Um, with, uh, episode one, uh, for the well-played special edition. Yeah, it's sort of a guide-in, uh, here that we're doing. Um, gonna be taking a turn at the helm here, and Moses is in the passenger seat. Yeah, I'm in the narrator's seat this evening. Um, you know here to, to chat and talk about the topic of, of Well Played and Dark Souls. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was uh, really fun doing that talk with you. It kind of uh, opened my mind up to the possibilities of what you can do with, with data, you know, uh, actually tracking someone's progression through something like this. It's been, it's been cool. It's been a ride. And indeed, like uh, those who are not longtime viewers of our show, and I joke because nobody other than the people who were at that session has actually seen the, the recording of that yet as we're recording this. Right. Uh, we're so far backlogged. Uh, so far. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of insane. The, the pipe that I have to push stuff up is so tiny. tiny and the amount of stuff we have is so yeah. large. So we have so much stuff for you all. Uh, whoever you might be, um, viewers, we know there are like eight or so. Yeah, so. 13, 13 subs, I thought. So more than eight. Well, not including ourselves. Not including ourselves. But yeah. maybe including ourselves. Probably including it. ourselves. I don't know. I subscribe. Yeah. So um, here we have a bald uh, female thief. Yeah. Why, you know, could you start the girl off with some hair? Probably by default. Game. Like, some people are going to play a ball chick. Nothing wrong with a ball chick. But 90% of the players or more are going to put some... Some kind of hair on it, right? fine hair on that fine face. Well, okay, and by the, um, you know, same reflection, uh, you know, by putting the baldness there, you're almost compelled to, to place hair. So I might argue that this right. is actually a genius move on mm -hmm. the part of From Software by opening the... Uh, yeah, it kind of gives you a, a tabula rasa of, of a head. Yeah. To work with, like, you don't see what a default person should look like. Yeah. No, you're just presented with this uh, strange ball figure, something uh, we don't normally see. Except yeah. out of certain, certain, certain circumstances. Uh, not going down there. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this sorry. particular episode, but... I didn't even, I um, didn't even listen. Yeah, I'm not sure I was either. But isn't that quite quite the point? Uh, it gives me an opportunity to mention that uh, we're kind of drunk souls in right now. Yeah. And also, I, I forget that it's way harder to play and talk. Um, and, you know, my respect for you has increased. Oh, absolutely. You'll notice I fall silent for long periods of time yeah. during the vast major majority of our material, um, which opens it up for you to, to jab at me and, right. and, and say things like, you know, hold it with two hands. So, no, not, not the tiny beings, right? Um, right? So this is, we are now, I think, at the first point of choices. Uh, 20 humanities, okay. Because uh, Thief has the master key. Oh, Thief has the master key? Yep. Uh, no shit. Oh, it doesn't have any of the other skills. Other? Uh, Pyromancy or sorcery, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Um, physique. And physique, finally, what size of person? Generically, a bunch of sizes are presented to you. Big booty. And. That's what I think. <laughs> and now the strange oh, racial oh, oh, choice oh, oh, that they give you. Yes, the, the, um, the bizarre. Uh, Racial generator. I don't again. think I'm gonna bother customizing. Cause, like, we're the, gonna be putting armor on your character pretty much immediately, right? And this face is the least hideous, uh, hideous as it may be. Um, so, uh, would you say that there's a, an uncanny valley effect with the faces of the characters in this game? Um, not really. No, it it seems the hideousness stems then from intentional. Well, yeah, it just seems. It's. I think it stems from the person who drew it. It doesn't know what ladies look like. I see. Too well. Um, well, there's that. Honestly. I don't know. So it's our thing to get right—a human face, you know. I think we it's just true. cut we cut the male characters more slack because they're supposed to be like grim. Beat it's up. true. I mean, also the moment that you're undead in this game, um, right. our entire aesthetic assessment of the characters will change too. So right, because those are all hideous, definitionally. Um, yeah. Well, I think we're uh, ready to roll here. So let's roll. Let us uh, begin. I'm so missing something. Like Oh, wait. No, no, there's all kinds of other stuff you can do. But you can also probably just... That guy. All right. So... We'll watch the uh, intro. We will now watch... Yeah. You know, the intro video. Shrouded by fog. 
So yeah. Land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. So this is before 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 fire. Like you don't but then there was fire. Didn't see too much of this. And, and, was fire and then there's fire, you know. So and this looks like, you know, the inside of a tree, pretty much. So what are you reading? This disparity in this tr inside this tree and fire. What's going on here? I mean, I guess you know you know too much. You know too much. There are certain well, things you probably can't tell me, which is part of our approach to to yeah. playing a video game well, what we consider to be well played. But it doesn't seem like where the first fire came from is is explained. Hmm. Um, this is like the natural state of humans, though. Sure. Just being like these zombies until they pick up the souls. Until they pick up the souls. The first of the dead. First of the dead meaning, you know, leader of the dead. Not that he can no. die. That sort of thing. The witch of Isaac and her daughter. Totally. Chaos. Grim, the lord of sunlight. Grim, sunlight. The so all the knights you see in fight are his dudes. I mean, this is pretty epic. Like, it's very easy to just kind of, yeah. It's like you know, dragons were the shit forever until fire. Yeah, and then people became knights and witches. And I mean, honestly, these are just loving cinematics here. Yeah, you know? I love. Uh, <laughs> that's my favorite part. Oh, it's amazing. He's not even like being threatening. He's just like lifting his hands. And by the way, if you want to watch this without us talking on top of it, you can you can find that yeah. elsewhere, and I encourage you to do so. Um, because uh, really, we're probably just wrecking it by talking. So Seath didn't have the, the scales, so he betrayed the other dragons. Ah, okay. Told Gwyn about their weakness. The age of fire. Age of fire. Being and here we are, arriving in our uh, like. Uh, not quite. This kind is of, well. So? That's not we are still in the age of fire, but but that's Lorcan, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So physical geography oh, right, right, right. arriving, yeah. But time, good point. Still yeah. many, many, what centuries before? Uh, I don't Even know. Hmm. Only endless night. Okay, I mean, I feel like fire is a big thing here, and so like maybe I made a good job, a good call on uh, going with pyromancer thematically mm -hmm. in this game. Cause like as a pyromancer, I come to the like firekeeper, and I'm like, yeah, firekeeper, you know, yeah, mind who's dead, but yeah, well, you'll uh, you'll definitely learn more about pyromancy as you as you continue. I expect I shall. I expect I shall. Yes, I'm to indeed. The coming back here myself with Johnson. Mm -hmm. I still have unfinished business here. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away. To await the end of the world. So it seems like the dark sign is like a person reverting to the this natural state of humanity, which is being a mindless ghoul. Okay, um, sure. And then with the acquisition of souls and stuff, like you can get more powerful. And as long as you like have the will to go on, like a purpose, you'll keep going. But eventually, like everyone goes hollow, more or less, you know. Uh, eventually, everyone goes hollow. Yeah. So the concept of go going hollow might not be familiar to all of our visitors, all of our um, viewers. Yeah, it's just where you kind of give up 
and you know you lose your your sense of purpose uh, in the context of Dark Souls that's also giving up on the game itself right right saying right. I cannot beat this game yep um, so when we reload the mod should work but for now I'm just gonna switch this oh sure of we... course so yeah since Paul is playing we're gonna have to switch the access from our normal uh, mode of play so I mean here we are here we are in the basic moment of playing Dark Souls. You are like actually here in, in the world now. Yeah, so, the um, tutorial. Um, so yeah, there happens to be a tutorial here, but I want to ask you, what does it mean to you to play Dark Souls well? Um, I guess it comes down to just being able to sort of confidently maneuver through an area in terms of like we're talking about skill. Sure. You know, uh, but to still be sort of adaptable, you know, on, on your on your feet, able to uh, change with the situation. Mm. Um, so, yeah, a combination of, like, confidence, like having control over over the character, right? Yeah. That's a huge part of the aesthetic of this game. Yeah. In my opinion. Um, the other thing, though, for me, really, is also just being able to slow down and absorb the game and the story through the environment and, and what's going on. Ah, oh, yeah, absolutely. So you can sort of tell this guy, you know, beats up on these guys. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, I mean, like the, the Dark Souls aesthetic shirt. is definitely, um, like, this narrative environment thing. Yeah. That's something that From Software, like, specializes in. They give you, uh, really construct narrative cues instead of just a dialogue by creating things around you that you notice, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's beautiful. It creates some really... So, I mean, gorgeous parts of the game, but here we are in the corner, in a damp corner, killing a zombie right. with a, you know, shard of a fucking weapon. So that's an example of somebody who's hollow. Like, he's probably just been sitting there for years, you know, doing nothing. Uh, only to be killed as we happen upon him. All right, so what have we here? First bonfire in the game? We have the like, first bonfire. I don't quite understand. You can just light it with your hand, or are you supposedly lighting it with tools, you know, and it's just... I would harken you know. back to the cinematic and say that you're lighting it with the inherent power of fire, which is within you. Within a human, yeah. Within any human. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And al although you have not actually, as of this point, um, drunk uh, any potions. Right. Flasks, if you will. Um, I am going to need to refill my beer here. Um, a detail I like here is you step into this ominous foyer area here, yeah. hearing the stomping. Absolutely. Uh, thinking that it's something going to come after you, and it is, but what you're actually hearing is the one beneath us that we just... Ah, uh, yes, of course. The one who I discovered relatively recently with her guidance. Right, and the other guy, is, he's... Yeah. And there's the guy up there that uh, is the first boss of this game. So there he is. You can actually see the first boss from here, just coming into the courtyard, and you're going to have to fight him later. You can kill him now. Oh, and you can theoretically kill him now. I think you get his club if you do. But oh, really? It's, but you'd rather come down here and like well, the second bomb. I don't think anybody would. It's too hard. It's too fucking hard. hard for me. After all, you only have a shard and you're getting a real sword. Is there like any class that starts off with a real weapon? Oh, they all do. Yeah, you probably just forgot. Oh, you're getting like here, but I meant like before that. You know? Oh. Um. No, not really. Yeah. So like, in order to have a good shot at that thing, you kind of need a weapon. Um, well, sure, yeah. Otherwise, you're going to have to be doing some inhuman human task that might take right. us forever, right? So, yeah. I think in our case, it will be, you know, much more beneficial to have taken the path you're taking, rather than, rather than, uh, there you go, a nice bandit sign. Remember when you just wailed on that guy with your other thing? Yeah, I do. Well, I remember it fondly. Like, oh, no. So, here's the thing, I mean, this is a component. When I started our Let's Play, I was not playing this game well, right? Like, I was pretty <laughs> miserable. But, like, people, if you have watched it or plan on watching it, it's one of the most enjoyable parts of the entire series is watching, like, me absolutely flailing. So here's the first time we walk through uh, the white white mist. Yeah. And it's not a boss. So, it's I mean, that boss. right there kind of shows you that not it's a not boss. always a boss. No, and yet, uh, you know, I had later come to associate the white mist so strongly with the boss that one time I was like, oh, well, it won't be a... It, it's it's got to be a boss because I'm going through this white mist. Oh, but yeah. You. Instead. Some story. Nope. I'm never afraid. I'll die soon. 
that I believe it was my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both are dead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringest the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt be. For now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. Oh. An undead favorite. Okay, I would like oh, to just. And this. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt you here. No. Dude, I know you're dying. I'm sorry, but I really gotta say something. So, I would like to uh, just comment for a second that his family has a saying which, like, was like seven sentences long or something. Did he say I, my family has a saying? There's a saying in my family that oh, the undead yeah. ramble, 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 core mechanics of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me while I, while I, while I info down my family's saying, I, but, like, I don't have actually much criticism of that. I like, um, I like the fact that there's the first two narrative strokes of this game, though, are you wake up in a cell, and you go and you find this dying knight. You know? Uh, yeah. And it's the same guy who threw the key. Right. Absolutely. Um, Oscar of... <coughs> Astora, where's your uh, Estus flasks? At? <coughs> That's a good question. There we are. So yeah, I've been looking for an excuse to drink, and now Paul finally has Estus flasks. It's very important, you know, key mechanic in the game. I mean, obviously this game is full. This uh, video is full of spoilers, but I know some people are going to watch it anyway. So, core mechanic of the game that uh, the flask, the health potion. And there we are. Um, to your we drink. Cheers. Tonight we're drinking. Uh, you're from uh, Indiana. Three Floyds, um, mm -hmm. or uh, Alpha Albuquerque, that's correct. That beer, from, also known as that beer from Indiana. Man, I just gotta commend you on not using that shield at all. You're just like, I'm going for this full, fully. Yeah, not a ton of need for it just yet. Now, you know, oh, very nice. Just, I mean, that's just well played. You can already get that kind of shit. That was really tight. And that's actually the main reason why we're, we're doing this, more than anything, is because if we're going to talk about a well-played Dark Souls game, Paul's a much better candidate to play well than I am. Perfect. It's perfect. Here we have the first boss. And um, let's see what happens. Oh, to the face. That's, that's quite unfortunate. But you're all good. Plenty of time to drink a potion. That's just flask. Flask up. Oh, flask up. That's my job. Another one to the face. Just as I finish my sip. Oh, I have a feeling you're going to make me. No, no, you're good. Oh! I hate it when they do that, and they always do that shit. They hit you in your prop, you're like, you don't quite get the benefit of your drink. It is just, it's such good design, though. It really is. So very nice. Well played. You've okay. achieved the, the big pilgrim's key. So, um, you know, you were told by the dying knight. Right? Uh, yeah. Um... What did you say? Go to... Oh, ring the bell of awakening? Yeah, go to Lordran. And I like it's... You'll know the fate of the undead. He's like... No, but it's like... Undead. All, you know, all it is is you knowing. It's not even necessarily like you'll be saved or... No, and even about. where I am on the path right now, I don't see if there's any salvation coming necessarily. Yeah. But here we have one of the most beautiful things in this game. In my opinion, Only personally. in the ancient legends it is stated... That a giant fucking bird would come out of the sky one day and I pick up an undead and decide not to eat it because it was like, you know what? You're Maggie Undead. I don't want to eat you. Instead, I'm going to carry you off to this other place. Undead asylum in pilgrimage. But along the way, the undead spoke 
to the land the bird. of the ancient Who sent, Who sent the bird? And they, they formed an eternal bond between undead person and bird. And that was the story forever after. Who do you think sent the bird? Good question. It's like a kind of look at a crow or a raven. But it kind of sounds more like a crow. Well, in Western culture, you know, both of these black birds are associated with, like, death sometimes. Hmm. I don't know. I have black cats. I don't think about that too much. So here we are. At this crucial point, you're actually now through the tutorial into the game. And now you can level up. This is the reason why you took this build of the character in the first place, right? Well, also for the master key, and then I could have. Oh, yeah, the master key. That's huge. I could have an extra gift. In the right, which left key. you the extra gift, which was between your eyes in the first place. Um, Rather than take the master key, which is a fucking gift. Yeah, okay, I see. It's basically the twin gift route. Well, what do we have here? You so, must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the Undead, right? Well, you're not Going full human here. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot to the Undead. You would have done better to rot in that side one, actually. Too late now. It's hard uh, so. hardly for me to say, but... I doubt that guy's going to finish the game. No, she is going to Two bells Pretty much uh, definitively, I, you know, but you never know. The other Seven years from now, you might pick this character up, because this is the thing about this game. This is why I got uh, so obsessed with the idea of doing um, a well-played about it, and probably why you wanted us to do a Let's Play in the first place. That's true. Oh, again, I'm sorry to talk over the uh, speeches there, people, but, um, you know, sometimes... Uh, wow. Exactly. Yeah, so if you want to look up the lore, the undead, I think Paul could probably point you to some places, and maybe that'll be an opportunity for future discussion. But here is a funny thing, though, that um, the lore in this game, you know, we were talking about their environmental design earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, the lore is designed at that level. It's not just, like, context clues about the space and events, right? But also, like, the actual lore of the game. Yeah. Oh, now, this is a funny thing you're doing here. I think I think there's, like, a blacksmith you can go to right away. Oh, yeah, you told me that. So, I uh, don't mind playing. I just never managed to explore that. That's really... Kind of amazing. Yeah. Well, you came back way later and found me. I was trying to like push you towards it. I know. Times. I know. Um, oh yeah, but now that I think about it, like the uh, things in this region are totally level appropriate. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. I mean, these guys don't even fight back. They're oh yeah. Totally. But the ones down below are even like really low level. Or maybe oh, they would fight, fight back. back. Oh yeah. See, only I was like one hitting them by the time I got here, right? Right. Pretty much. But see, even you can do it, so yeah. Even you! <laughs> oh yeah, I remember falling off of this cliff trying to attack that guy. I mean, it happens. And I mean, this is a thing, people. The design of this game, it's brutal. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. Well, I shouldn't cry. I shouldn't cry. And yet I'm I still do. I was once, can you believe it? I can. I like how he's not even like, here, let me show you my wares. Like, have you? You have to talk uh, to him twice to actually get Just really, no, really extracted from him, yeah. It's safe here. Although, I must admit, there's not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your way. I'll show you what made you look best. So, you know, that takes a little bit of work, but it's also very rewarding dialogue if that's what you're here for. We, however, have uh, certain objectives in this particular Let's Play. As well played. We, mm -hmm. we do consider time to be a factor. Among other things, we know that the uh, journal, uh, we're trying to, like, uh, you know, have a submission requirement and whatnot. And this right. uh, aims to reflect that and the reason why we're trying to aim with this requirement. It's like, you know, 20-ish minute thing is 15 minutes. 
25 minutes. This is a good mark. Yeah. You and I have been doing this for a while, and I would say that that's like what makes I'm a good sure. session most of the time. Yeah. They're usually in that time range, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, man, it's so funny. The under area here totally reflects the design of the area up above the tower Yeah, at the top. It's very, very similar to it, actually, the whole layout. But you have to run through it hundreds of times to start to notice that, you know? Yep. So I, I forgot you need uh, shards to, like, reinforce anything mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, sure. But uh, they'll be available later. And I got a soul item, so... Yeah. Wait, what did you pick up here on there? I totally uh, don't pay attention. Soldier, soldier, main soldier. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I was paying attention for. I thought you meant in a conversation with the blacksmith. I was like... Oh, just out of curiosity, is there anybody to talk to down there? Oh, uh, there is the girl behind the bars, but she is unable to talk. Unable to talk. All right, thank you. That might have stated a uh, curiosity of our viewers who have never played this game before. Ah, uh, right, yep. Yeah. But we'll... Uh... We'll come back to her. We will. Something we will, in fact, invariably one word uh, return. And even in the case of this character, we most likely will. Yeah. Because you're on a pretty, uh, you know, good, swift trajectory here. All right, very I good. Know that. We're talking. I believe we are not acquainted. We're not. I am Petrus of Thurland. Have you business with us? I don't know. If not, I prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance, <laughs> but I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of ah, peace. A pattern. Go Talk to them twice. It's for you. Mm -hmm. It works. A shiny copper coin. Shiny copper coin. <laughs> Whatever that does. So, uh, coming up here, there should be an elevator, but it's probably not available yet. You are correct. So sorry about that. Uh, accidental reveal there. Oh, nice! But you can come down here to these chests right now. That's huge. Yeah, that is huge. I missed this, of course. There's some options. Yeah, no reason, no reason not to. Some homeward bones, and of course here we have uh, a chest. <laughs> <laughs> Lord's Talisman. Um, I so, forget uh, what that... That, like, makes it so that people can't use Estus, I think. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, many people think that you have to come down here first. Oh, dude, you can totally run and grab some shit here. Um, oh, yeah. And fight these skeletons, but you totally don't and shouldn't. Because they'll tear you up. They will just destroy you. They will yeah. eat you alive. Jesus Christ, I came in here when I was a higher level and they ate me alive. But yeah. fortunately, you can escape here by way of the bird. I mean, not literally. but Go by, yeah, you go by him. But you go by, go by the bird. You go by the bird. Go oh, by the bird. They are still hot on my heels here. These are. birds are great price. Go buy them yourself anytime. So, nice. I mean, again, well played. Like, well played, just beautifully executed. Okay. So, I mean, what does it mean for us to have Dark Souls be well played? And I think this is a bigger question than the beautiful execution of just Well, again, I think it comes back to um, the environments, you know, the way it's really densely layered and stacked on itself. I mean, you can see mm -hmm. the aqueduct. That this you is take. Uh, absolutely. You can see the bridge there that the uh, dragon lands on. You can? Uh, in can the, you see a cathedral there? there? The um, no, not exactly. No, but you can see an imposing castle wall off to the left. I still haven't crossed yet. Yeah. So. And then. So that's part of it. But over here, any given uh, time, let's just say that some of our town. let's plays have not been our most well played. Like when you had to go down there. Sure, there's playtime down there. Yeah. You absolutely. Uh, where that spider boss lady yeah. is is like tucked right, right down right below under the. Yeah, right, 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 in, right, like literally underneath where we're standing down to the right, yeah. yeah? So, I mean, yes, the environment is, that's what, why this game is so well designed, and it offers you the ability to play it well because it's it's built so beautifully, like so much craftsmanship has been put in into this, it's so mm -hmm. beautiful. Look at these fucking steps, man, I can hang out on these steps and read a book, I mean, <laughs> I swear to God. Were it not for the... 
fact that they're these horrible undead are gonna throw fireballs at you. I mean, oh, I guess so I didn't level up. I probably shouldn't. Um, oh, kill these guys first. Kinda... You're on a roll. You got ten Astus flasks. So what? He's got a shield. He's gonna die. He almost drank. And according to our rules, our well-played Let's Play rules, so, I mean, you know, we have some specialized rules, and some of them include the idea that if one of them drinks, you should take a shot. Um, never... We have never done this, though. Yeah. So be advised that except for one time when we happen to be drinking liquor, which is probably a poorly advised choice in the first place, we have never actually played that particular variant of the drinking game of uh, Prepare to Suffer. But, I mean, Prepare to Suffer has its own drinking game, and yes, only the two of us play it, as far as we know, and some rules we've not tested. But, uh, <laughs> suffice it to say, it's a game. You two can play. Um, if you choose to, we advise you not to, but... <laughs> What's this? Oh, yeah. You just fell this is another thing about this game that makes it so beautiful, and so easy hurting. to enjoy the playing of it, such that it is a well-played experience, whether or not you are playing it well. You know? Sorry, dude. Look at that. It, it is. That's an epitome of what makes it joyous. Even if you're playing it badly, you can have these moments. And you are like, you know, so just sorry. ruthlessly, efficiently cutting through. Oh, you're not gonna. You're not gonna go downstairs and. Uh, you know. You are pretty close. Way. You're pretty fucking close. And you have nine Estus flasks. Yeah. I might have forgotten to take a drink. I remember that. Oh, don't get, don't get sick. I know right? Those rats are plague ridden. Nice work with the dagger. Thank you. That was just gorgeous. I mean, come on, people. Look at that. Now you can see that little poison meter is just going down. So beautiful. And they just give you that, that signage. You immediately know if you've played games enough like this to know what they're meaning by this. You have some kind of shit accumulating. Yeah. It's not hurting you yet. Like, it's a very nice signal. You'll figure out in time what the toxins are. It doesn't matter. In that moment, you know, don't get bit again. This dagger, man. Yeah, the only draw that not a ton of reach. So you kind of got to get up in the business, you know? Yeah, totally. But this character game with, like, came with extra agility or whatever? Nice. Uh, yeah. Dexterity, I think. Dexterity, yeah. Though it also influences uh, pyromancy, though, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Sort of, um, <laughs> over the long haul. Yeah, the destruction Also, the world. joy of destruction in this yeah. world. Uh, you know, occasionally you can just, you just want to unleash. So here we have... The fog gate. Another uh, fog gate. Another no boss situation. Another no boss situation. Uh, but this does signify something, actually, in my thinking this gives me an idea of what they're doing here. Boom. Uh, red Drake goes on by. That Red Drake. That was Ouch. from downtown, wasn't he? I know. He really does like to jump, doesn't he? Hey, he'll just wear himself out. Let him keep swinging. Just let him go. Give him go. If you do long enough, he'll just stand still. Ooh. Nice strength. Now, we do actually play the drinking game involving drinking. Uh, sometimes we drink water, uh, but... Yeah, you know, which I think I'm like two behind here. It seems like it's still warranted. Nicely done on the... Uh, oh, yeah. Nicely uh, done on the uh, shield there. That was really well played. Thank you. Who's in here? Has this cost you out the master key that you just could open that? Um, no, I think that... Oh, it's wood shield. Yeah. Wood shield. Here's three wood shield. Nice. These guys, they've just given me so much trouble in the early game. I just And this bridge, I fell off this bridge <laughs> yeah, probably more than any other place in the entire game. We're going to count it up. I've counted a lot of things. In the next episode, we'll pull out some stats. But um, I don't know. I think that might be episode one. Here we are. Yeah. Maybe I'll uh, just cap it off with a, a level here. Uh, yeah, level two. it up. We're in the lower undead. Um, yeah. 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 Or not lower, just the undead. Uh, the un berg. Undead berg. The undead berg. Here we are in the Undead Burg. So yeah, you've got a dexterity of 15. And yeah, that was that is the stat that I built a lot of. It's related to Pyromancy too. Which you can theoretically learn later in the game if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any character can learn any uh, type of skill. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to 
uh, pump up the old uh, HP. Um, get a little more damage going too. Nice. All right. Well, All right. Uh, I guess you want to take us, take us, take us out, Mo. Let's take a short break. There will be episode two, uh, but that's it for episode one of the well played. Uh, prepare to stuff, suffer. <laughs> prepare to suffer. Prepare to suffer, guy. Daniel. <laughs> Part one. Act one. Scene one. We're out. <laughs>